Hello, race fans, and welcome back to the More Freedom Series. Today, we have traveled to Phoenix for the Phoenix 68. This is going to be race number 22 in the More Freedom Series Season 4. And as we get closer to the halfway point of the second half of Season 4, let's go through your top 10 points. Your points leader is the double zero of Mudbone. Second will be the 20 of Adam B5000. Third will be the 544 of Frederick Winklevom. Tied for fourth will be the 49 of Jetman and the 11 of TC Roberts. Sixth will be the 88 of NM. Seventh will be the 203 of Signs. Eighth will be the 25 of JTM. Ninth will be the 72 of Duchess. And rounding out your top 10 will be the 799 of Mike Check. Let's check in on your team and chassis standings. Douche Motorsports leads the way over second place NBR. Third is going to be Aces to Z Motorsports. Fourth will be Amish Buggy Racing. And rounding out the top five will be the Drop Bear Racing Team. Chassis standings look like this. Dodge, Chevy, Toyota, and Ford. So big change up there at the top of the team standings with Douche Motorsports now leading the way by nine points over NBR. We're going to see what Douche Motorsports and NBR have for Phoenix as they get these cars fired up. Crowd is piling in, so let's go racing. As they get these cars fired up, let's go through your starting top ten. Starting on the pole will be the 999 of Deviant, and on his outside, the 25 of JTM. Starting third will be the 88 of NM, and on his outside, the 356 of Ice Cream Some Days. Starting fifth will be the 544 of Frederick Winklevom, and on his outside, the 203 of Signs. Starting seventh will be the 72 of Duchess, and on her outside, the 33 of Harvey Jones. Starting ninth will be the 95 of Zed Brenna, and rounding out your top 10 will be the 49 of Jetman. So I have to look at your top 10 today for this Phoenix 68, which actually might be closer to 63 than 68. But hey, we're going with the 68. Uh, that's tradition here for Phoenix. And that or beautiful orange and black Dodge Challenger pace car is in. Deviant's leading us down to take the green flag. It is out and we are underway. That 88 of NM was wasting no time through turn number one as he bumps that 999 of Deviant just a hair coming through turn number one and into two here. Weird little track, you know, it's more like Pocono where it has kind of like three turns, but maybe five turns. I don't know. It's Phoenix, but your leader on lap number one is going to be the 999 of Deviant who again, story of the year right now for the 999 of Deviant as he misses the first four races of the year is steadily moving up the pack, currently in the 29th position in points and uh, already has one win on the season. Looking for another. Let's bring up your timing and scoring. As always, top 10 will be on your left. Favorite driver scrolling across the top. Again, the 999 of Deviant leads the way with two MBR cars right there behind him, the 88 of NM. And the 25 of JTM. JTM looking to try to get another top 10 here and possibly get a win as he desperately needs once he's actually jumped into the top 10 after running way down in the, in the order for most of the season has had several good races in a row. I think that actually the last four to six races have been really good top 10 finishes for him and has jumped back into the top 10 here. And uh, we'll see what he has for the rest of the season as we see that 72 of Duchess underneath the 544 of Frederick Winklevom for a pass here for the fourth position. As we see the 95 of Zed Brenna getting underneath that 356 of Ice Cream some days. Her teammates, her teammates uh, here, the 23 of Fuller Than You and the running right there sandwiched between the 49 of Jetman and the 203 of Signs. So Fuller, known wrecker here in the series, is precariously was precariously in the middle right there. He's going to be running down to the inside as we see the 356 of Ice Cream Some Days getting down to the inside of the 95 of Zed Brenna. As we see the 88 of NM takes over the lead here as, and the, as the 25 of JTM takes over the second position from the 999 of Deviant. So a couple NBR cars pushing their way to the front 
as the 999 still working on the outside of the 25. So JTM fighting hard into turn one here with the 999 of Deviant on the outside. Here comes that 72 of Duchess. So two wide action here on lap number seven is allowing the rest of the pack to catch up as the 25 of JTM finally is going to be able to make that full pass on Deviant. Puts himself into the second position. We'll see what that did to his tires. Very hot here today at Phoenix. As you can see, they're sliding through these turns. Back end a little loose for all of these drivers here today with how hot the track is. 99 was our temperature as we started this race. As we watch that 72 of Dutch is working down to the inside of the 25 at JTM. So JTM may have heated up those tires with that battle by the 999 of Deviant. As we watch the 72 of Duchess battling with the 25 of JTM. And right behind them is going to be the 544, Frederick Winklevom. Currently running third in the points is Frederick. And looking to possibly jump to the top, top position this week. As your points leader, the double zero Mudbone, currently runs in the 27th position. Second in points, the 20 of Adam B5000 currently runs 29th. So JTM's going to lose that spot to the 72 of Duchess. As we see the 999 of Deviant still battling on the outside of the 544 of Frederick Winklebaum. As we see the 95 of Zed Brunna trying it on the outside here with the 544 of Zed thinking about making it three wide as we watch the 356 of Ice Cream some days. Working down to his inside. We'll check back in on your leader, the 88 of NM right now. I'm guessing we're looking probably at a one pit stop race is what I would have to guess here today at Phoenix. So I think they might be able to make it to about halfway here today. 63 laps. It's going to be close. Because I know at about a two and a half mile track, they go about 10 to 15 laps. So at a one mile track, it only, you know, like the math adds up to where it could be to uh, halfway. So, but anyway, the 999 of Deviant has made it past that 544. Frederick Winklevom worked himself back into the fourth position as we see the 72 of Duchess closing in on the back of the 88 of NM. As we watch this battle between the 544, the, five, the 95, the 49, and the 356 right now. So Jetman able to get down to the inside of the 356 of Ice Cream some days. As we watch the 544, Frederick Winklevom battling here with the 95 of Zed Brona. Zed's got a little bit of a gap here on the 544 as they head down into the final turn. I'm just going to call that turn three. As we see the 72 of Duchess for Douche Motorsports working underneath the 88 of NM. So Douche Motorsports, their program has come alive here in the second half of the season as they have overtaken MBR as the team points leader here, which again is a very, it's a huge surprise as MBR historically is has been the strongest team but second half of this season that's been carried by the 25 at JTM for the most part as the 88 the 49 and the and the others have just not had a fantastic second half to the season right now as again this this record heat for this track is uh, just pushing all of these cars they're just sliding all over the place right now as again, we see that 72 of Duchess for Douche Motorsports takes over the lead from the 88 of NM as he battles with his teammate and brother, the 25 of JTM right here. So JTM looking to take back over the second position from where he started the race in second position. Maybe make a run on that 72 of Duchess with the help of the 999 of Deviant who is thinking about and is will make it three wide. So Deviant is tired of waiting in the back as he lost that the lead to the 88 and the 25 has now pushed down to the inside of the 25 at JTM making it three wide through turn three here 88 of NM back up there in the marbles has to get off the gas before he hits the wall so JTM battling on the outside of that 999 of DV and allowing the 72 of Duchess 
to put up a little bit of a gap here as we watch that 5-4-4. Frederick Winklevom thinking about making it three wide with a 95 of Zed Brunna. Door to door, side by side through turn three goes the 95 and the 88, the 25 on the outside of the 999 as they work here on lap number 18. Oh, we see the, the 88 blows it up. That's gonna do it today for the 88 of NM. His car up in smoke. Up in smoke goes the 88. The 666 gets into him. The 51's around. I think we're gonna possibly see a caution. No caution, no caution. We do, we finally have a caution here on the track as the 88 of NM, his car blows up here on lap number 19. So the 88 of NM who led 10 laps here today is gonna be out of this race. As we catch up to the front of this field, we did see the 666 of Pistol Pete get into the 88 of NM, but we'll see if that, what happens with his car as we see the 72 of Duchess is your leader here on lap number 20 as we're under caution. So interesting play to end this race as it looks like it's probably going to be a two, two stopper, two stop race. As we watch 72 of Duchess bringing them down pit road, followed closely by that 25 of JTM. So we're going to see if we get any gamemanship from the 72 of Duchess, who started in the seventh position here today. See if she uh, break checks second and first starters. She's into her pits, 25 of JTM and the 999 of Deviant around. And so right side tires going on for that 72 of Duchess. Looks like it's going to be a four-tire stop for Duchess and Douche Motorsports as we see her teammate, the 203 of Science, pulling in front of her. Fuel going in to the Sugarland Shine Chevy for Douche Motorsports. She's down and away. The 25's down and away. 95 is going to beat out the 999 of Deviant. Not sure what the 23 of Fuller Than You is doing as we watch the 25 getting a little squirrely there. So the 33 of Harvey Jones also getting squirrely. So we see JTM is going around the 95 and the 23. So I'm not sure if JTM has a tire issue right now. We'll keep an eye on that. So out of the race as a result of that is the 88 of NM. Also as a result of that, of NM blowing up and we saw Pistol Pete get into him. That's actually going to put, unfortunately, put Pistol Pete out of this race. So his woes and his rookie season continue here for the 666 of Pistol Pete. Listen, I don't know, and I'm just saying, I'm throwing it out there. The number, the number is, you know, not a great number. And I'm just, you know, I'm just saying. But let's go through your current top 10. So again, your leader is at 72 of Duchess. Second's going to be the 25 of JTM. Third will be the 95 of Zed Brennan, the Pink Panther right there. Fourth will be Known Wrecker, the 23 of Florida the New. Fifth will be the 544 of Frederick Winklevom. Sixth will be the 33 of Harvey Jones. Seventh will be the 40 of Veteran Chaos. Eighth will be the 07 of Douchebaggins. Ninth will be the 96 of Red Zed. Ninth will be the 96 of Nico. And rounding out your top 10 will be the 999 of Deviant. So Deviant loses about seven positions here in the pits. Moves back to the 10th position. First pit stop curse, I think, for that 999 of Deviant. As we see last week's winner, the 71 of Kung Fu Beer up into the 12th position. KFB started 16th on the day. Nico has started 15th, and he's up to... The ninth position, we'll make sure that this was not the one to go here. I think that is the one to go. We have the lights out on the pace car, so we got a one to go here. At Phoenix here on lap number 23, that's going to put the 25 of JTM to the outside of the 72 of Duchess, I do believe. We're going to get our double file restart in just a second. I think maybe no Dover. Yeah, double file here at Phoenix. 
There they go. The 72 of Duchess gets her car going. She's going to be racing back to the stripe with the 25 of JTM on her outside. And the 95 of Zed Brenna right there behind her with his, with his teammate. The 23 of Fuller than U2 is outside. Bring us back to that flag. That 72 of Duchess, the beautiful orange and black Dodge Challenger pace car is in. Green flag is out. We're underway. Great jump by the 25 of JTM. Down into turn one they go. Duchess is letting him go as they get those tires fired up or heated up. The 95 is Zed Brenna right all over her back door right now. So squirreliness going on here at Phoenix with this heat again. The 95 is Zed Brenna. Wow, look at this run by the 95 is Zed Brenna. Looking for, I believe, his first win of the year this year. He is to the out, to the inside of the 72 of Duchess. Puts her in a sandwich with the 25 of JTM. Watching what that 23 of Fuller with New does as he's sliding through the look at that slide through the turn by all these drivers right now. So the Pink Panther pushes that car to the bottom of the track, gets underneath that 72 of Duchess, able to take that spot away as the 544 of Frederick Winklebaum, I believe, will be looking for. Win number three this year. Insane to think about is that the 544 even talking about a win, but with his retirement from the police keeping force, he has been able to just throw all of his energy into driving and has put himself into third position in points. Second position on the track right now. As his teammate, the 33 of Harvey Jones, trying to work to, work to the back bumper of the 72 of Duchess as we see JTM falling back right now on the outside. That outside line is, is super slick, filled with marbles and just nowhere to go for the 25 of JTM as we watch the 96 of Nico who had himself and uh, Fuller had heartbreak as well, as well as the 49 of Jetman last week. Having to come in with a couple laps to go, ends up not winning the race. I think that could have been Paul had a great car last week, and I think he almost would have had that if it hadn't been for that needed pit stop. But he is looking for redemption as he currently runs. 24th in points as we see a little bit of a bump by the 96 of Nico. He pushes that 23 a further than you up. We're going to see if that allows him to get to the inside right there. It doesn't. I think Nico gave that what a gentleman racer to the, 20, the 96 was right there. Kind of gave that position back to the 23 of Fuller than you. Races him down the front stretch. Let's check in on your leaders. The 95 of Zed Brunna still leads the way for Aces to Zed Motorsports. As the 544 of Frederick Winklevom right there on his back bumper and his teammate, the 33 of Harvey Jones, Looking down to the inside of the 72 of Duchess right now. So Harvey has not had a fantastic season either, running back in 27th in points. I do believe Harvey does have a win this year, but he is looking for much needed pointage here as we work through the second half of this season. As we see that 95 of Zed Brunna currently the leader right now. So they got him lined up underneath that 72 of Duchess. She's going to do everything she can right now to keep her car in a position to stay up here in the top five, hopefully. Paul is back now underneath her as he works to the bottom. And we see that 96 and the 25 coming along as well. So Duchess going to be falling back here. See if we can't check in on your leader just in case. They are still nose to tail right now. As the 96 of Nico now down to the inside of the 72 of Duchess. I think he was thinking about making it to the bottom of that 23 of Fuller than you. Just a little bit too much of a gap right there to make it to the back bumper of the 23 of Fuller than you. But the 96 able to make that pass on the 72 of Duchess. We're going to see if the 25 able to do that same thing as we see the 10 of Scooter. Just absolutely driving like a maniac right there. Squawking all over the track. That's the 25 down to the inside of that 72 of Duchess. I don't know what Scooter's doing. He, maybe he's just got 
a good car on the outside right there as we see two of the Kager, the two Kager racing v cars right there beside each other, the 71 and the 40. So here comes a douche motorsports driver, the 203 of Signs, as he works to the inside of the tennis scooter down the front stretch. As we see Nico still trying to battle with that 23 of Fuller Than You with about 28 laps to go here. So our leader at halfway will have been that 95 of Zeb Brunna. As we see the 72 of Duchess has now caught back up to the back bumper of the 25 of JTM. As we watch the 203 of Signs working underneath the 10 of Scooter right now. This is a battle on the track for the eighth position. Which could be another good day for Douche Motorsports right now as we watch the 203 of Signs. Finally getting around the 10 of Scooter followed behind him is going to be the 999 of Deviant, the 71 of Kung Fu Beer, and Deviant's teammate, the 300 of Resemble. We haven't talked much about Resemble in this second half. He's currently fallen back to the 20 to the 16th in points in the second half of this season. So Resemble looking for a good finish here today. Currently runs in the 12th position behind the 71 of Kung Fu Beer after that awesome win last week again. I apologize to KFB. I did not realize it was the final lap when it was and I wasn't able to broadcast him crossing in the finish line. But I'm so excited that he was able to finally get his first win here in the More Freedom Series. I just want to highlight that again this week. So the 96 of Nico, the 23 of Fuller Than You have caught up to the back end of the 33 of Harvey Jones as the 544 and the 95 basically have 1.2 1 1 seconds up on that 33 of Harvey Jones. As we see the 96 of Nico getting super racy right now. Again, he, I think he gave that position back to 23 of Fuller Than You after that little bit of a bump into the turn. So Fuller, I don't know, maybe he's holding the 96 up, but the 25 of JTM is now caught up to all three of these cars. As I think we're about to see a battle between two douche motorsports drivers, the 72 and the 203, and possibly that 999 of Deviant. Let's just jump back through this field real fast, see what we got going on back here. As we watch the three of Geek Girl Games down to the inside of the 777 of Seabass. So Seabass... Definitely looking for a better run this week. And I don't know what it is about that, the triple, the 666 and the 777. Maybe it's their numbers. Um, just not doing great this year as we, you know, CBAS always has, he's had a win this season and just not been able to get that program going with this. Maybe it's just the switch over to Dodge this season. Uh, you know, car owner, team owner, the 777. And I think maybe with the same with three of Geek Girl Games, you know, she's a car owner. And after that uh, win last season, and she just hasn't hasn't had it this year. As her teammate, the 356 of Ice Cream Some Days, has fallen back to the 30th position, last car on the lead lap. So nose to tail up here. As they are trying to catch up to the front of this field. Uh, and the front of the, the these two drivers up here about to put up another tenth of a second on second, third, or third, fourth, and, and back as we got about 20 laps to go here in the Phoenix 68. So highlight the fastest lap of the day by the 72 of Duchess at 137.852 miles per hour or 26.115 seconds. So Dutch's fastest lap of the day as we see the 25 at JTM thinking about getting down to the inside of the 96 of Nico. So one teammate already down for MBR in the 88 of NM. He's going to finish last here today as a result of that engine going up. As we see the 96 trying right his best right here. He is to right on that back bumper of 23 of Fuller Than You. So
so Fuller may be holding up both of these NBR drivers right now. Nico looks like he's finally thinking about getting down to the inside. I think he just needed a little bit of a confidence boost there. He's got to get up on the binders a little bit as those cars are just sliding every which way. As we see the 203 of Signs working down to the inside of the 25 at JTM. So Duchess falls back a couple more spots here. Actually, Duchess may be pitted. As we see the 96 coming in, so your leader falls to the 544, Frederick Winklevom. We saw the 95 of Zed Brunna into the pits. And it looks like the 72 of Duchess may be into the pits as well. So we're going to follow Frederick around. His teammates, the 33 of Harvey Jones, pulls into second position. Looks like Frederick is off the gas. He's coming down into pit road here. Looks like the 25 at JTM will take over the lead. will grab those very, very important five bonus points. Uh, he already had them, but he needed them. As we see, Frederick has to slow up for a lot of that traffic right there. So that could be detrimental to him as we see the 72 in and the 999 of Deviant. Left side tires on for the 544 Frederick Winklevom. Here's the 356 of Ice Cream some days in for right side tires and service. Fuel in the 544 down and away here at Phoenix. He's definitely not going to beat out the 95 of Zed Brunna. So Zed looks to be in the catbird seat right now as the 96 of Nico has that car fired up. We haven't forgot about the 25 of JTM who has the left side tires going on right now. Last guy on to pit road is that 25 of JTM. He is down and away. So he's not going to beat out those other drivers either. He is back onto the road. He's going to try to come out in front of the 10 of Scooter. Very close right there. Shoo. Very, very close right there. As we see, the 96 is caught up to the back bumper of that 33 of Harvey Jones, but your leader by a significant margin will be the 95 of Zed Brenna with 13 laps to go here at Phoenix. So let's go through your top 10 after those pit stops. Again, your leader, the 95 of Zed Brenna. Second's going to be the 544 of Frederick Winklevom. Third will be the 33 of Harvey Jones. Fourth is going to be the 96 of Nico as they work around that 20, 29 of a wishbone attack involved in that caution early on. And fifth place will be the 10 of Scooter. Sixth will be the 23 of Foley the Mew. Seventh will be the 71 of Kung Fu Beer. Eighth will be the 660 of Garrett Miller, who's quietly snuck into the top 10 after starting 33rd here today. Ninth will be the 25 of JTM. And rounding out your top 10 right now will be the 799 of Mike Check. So Duchess falls to... 17th position after those pit stops. As we're going to catch up to the front of this pack as your leader is, again, the 95 of Zed Brenna. Pink Panther, I think, is looking for his first win of the season here today for Aces to Zed Motorsports, his first win this season. I believe Aces to Zed has had a couple wins this season, so... I know at least one or two by the 23 of Fuller Than You. I mean, how could we forget one of the wins by the 23 of Fuller Than You? Very controversial win, as a matter of fact. As the 95 is at Brenna leads here with about 10 laps to go at Phoenix. Checking in through this pack as the tennis scooter has kind of come alive here in the second half. He is now up to 13th in points is Scooter, so he has dug his way out of the hole that he was in at the end of the, around the halfway point, made up to the 13th in points so far, but Zed, who's in 12th, is looking for a great points day right now. We'll check in on your points leader, the double zero of Mudbone. 
He currently runs 25th right now. The 20 of Adam B5000 runs 22nd. So, I mean, theoretically, and I would have to, you know, do math, and I don't have the point sheet in front of me, but it could be a possibility that this 544 Frederick Winklevom could leapfrog Mudbone and Adam B5000 and take over the points lead by finishing second here today as he is closing in on the 95 of Zed Brunna. He has knocked off, I don't know, about half the time that he was behind. So with seven laps to go, the 95 might have some competition here right at the end of the race. We'll find out as we watch the 33 of Harvey Jones. Basically, you know, he's, it looks like he's about running block right now for his teammate, the 544, Frederick Winklevom. We want to see if Nico has anything to try to get around him as we jump back through this field. 25 of JTM. Finally around the 29, a wishbone attack. And still in the top 10. So uh, looking at the standings right now, no douche motorsports drivers in the top. Actually, I take that back. Their first driver in the top 10 is the 329 of Heck of a Duber, but that's one point. That's only one point for that. And with the 96 in fourth and the 25 in ninth, that would uh, put them pretty close. MBR pretty close to taking over that top position again. As we see the 999 of Deviant right there. Yeah, I think he's thinking about getting back into the top 10 as we watch the 96 of Nico finally down to the inside of the 33 of Harvey Jones with about four laps to go. Another two tenths of a second taken off this lead by the 544 Frederick Winklevom as we watch the 96 of Nico working into the third position here beside that 33 of Harvey Jones, we're going to see if that allows the 25 to make a run to the back of the 660 of Garrett Miller as we watch the 71 of Kung Fu Beer working down to the inside of Scooter. He may work down to the inside of the 23 of Fuller Than You. So renewed life into that 71 of Kung Fu Beer this season as, again, season one runner-up was KFB. Watch as there is two laps to go here at Phoenix. And the 544 of Frederick Winklevom has narrowed that gap to five tenths of a second right now as we watch the 96 of Nico has broken away from this pack as the 71 of Kung Fu Beer makes it three wide with the 33 and the 23 as we'll catch up to the 95. As he comes around, takes the white flag. One lap to go here at Phoenix. Four-year leader, the 95 is Zed Brunna. Bowler is able to get stay in that position, so we'll catch back up to Zed as he comes around through the back stretch for the final time into the final turn. The 95 is Zed Brunna. I think he's got enough here. He's going to pull off this win from the 544 Frederick Winklevom. So your winner today here at Phoenix the 95 is Zed Brunna. So congratulations to Zed starting ninth on the day, able to come to the front, pick up the win for Aces to Zed Motorsports in the Pink Panther car. So awesome run by the 95 and the 544 here today. Let's go through your finishing top 10. Again, your winner is the 95 of Zed Brunna. Second's going to be the 544 of Frederick Winklevom. Third will be the 96 of Nico. Fourth will be the 23 of Fuller Than You. Fifth will be the 71 of Kung Fu Beer. Sixth will be the 10 of Scooter. Seventh will be the 660 of Garrett Miller. Eighth will be the 33 of Harvey Jones. Ninth will be the 25 of JTM. And rounding out to top 10, the 329 of Heck of a Duber. It's an awesome run for that 95 here today. Congratulations to him. Let's see next week. Ooh, we go to the high-speed Texas Motor Speedway for the Texas 100. So that should be an exciting race next week. Um, let's check in on your current points and see what kind of movement Frederick had after that win. And, uh, and, and Zed and, you know, all these other drivers see where they're ending up right now. 
Let's all check in on those team and chassis standings as it was a good day for MBR. We'll see what that looks like. Again, congratulations today to the 95 of Zed Brunna. He is your winner here at Phoenix for the Phoenix 68. Ran a great race, uh, ninth to first, and just absolutely dominated in the second half of this race. So congratulations to Zed. Led 36 laps here today. And, uh, well, hey, if the racing can't get any better, I'm looking forward to Texas next week, and hopefully you are too. And until then... Take care.